Hello, welcome back to the channel and thanks for watching. In this video I will try to explore the level of complexity behind battery powered watch movements. I think we often discredit battery powered quartz based watches simply because of our love for mechanical watches. And when I say we, I'm actually referring to myself in this case as I'm surely guilty of that. At the same time I'm a big fan of G-Shock for example, so that's a bit of a paradox. Because I've noticed my own tendency to avoid quartz watches, I decided to explore and learn a bit more about them. I will start by saying that I'm going to focus on the solar segment, as I believe that the integration of a solar cell involves an extra layer of complexity, and of course makes our lives easier in relation to not having to change the batteries. So how does a solar driven watch work? Let's start with the solar cell, which is basically a photovoltaic cell, typically made of a semiconductor material like silicon. When exposed to light, photons from the light strike the solar cell and generate an electric current through a process called the photovoltaic effect. This current is then harnessed for powering the watch. We will of course also have a battery involved, not just any battery, but a rechargeable one. The electrical energy generated by the solar cell is not used directly to power the watch, but is stored in these rechargeable batteries, which are designed to efficiently store and release energy over a long period of time. They often have a high energy density, allowing the watch to operate for extended periods even when not exposed to light. Solar watches also incorporate electronic components, including an integrated circuit or electronic module, to manage the conversion of the electrical current generated by the solar cell. This involves regulating the voltage and current to ensure it is suitable for charging the battery. The integrated circuit also prevents overcharging, which could damage the battery. I've always enjoyed seeing a power reserve indicator on the dial of mechanical watches, although some fancy high-end models may have the indicator displayed on the back of the case. You'll be happy to know that some solar watches also feature a power reserve indicator. On most G-Shocks, for example, you will notice a display showing low, medium and high charge levels. This feature helps users gauge when the watch needs exposure to light for recharging. Solar watches commonly use quartz-based movements, which rely on the vibrations of a quartz crystal to maintain accurate timekeeping. An integrated circuit in the watch divides the vibrations into regular intervals, typically one second, to drive the watch hands. Quartz movements are known for their precision and low power consumption, making them well suited for solar-powered watches. To conclude, it's also worth noting that quartz movements can enable watchmakers to achieve serious innovations. If you wish to explore the topic further, have a look at the Citizen EcoDrive 1, a watch with a movement of just 1mm. Or from the higher end of the spectrum, have a look at the FP Journ Elegante collection. Just by doing the research for this video, I managed to convince myself that solar-driven quartz-based watches deserve more attention. I hope you're convinced too. If you found this video useful, please do like and most importantly subscribe to the channel just to make sure you don't miss the next video. All the best!